Welcome to Kitchen Possible. We're back again in our kitchen today. We're going to go over our version of fix it and forget it. How many knows you need sometimes a meal that you can just put together, throw in a crock pot, you don't even have to worry about it. Maybe you're a busy mom that day, you're a busy chef, maybe you're a busy soccer mom, or you just plain don't feel like cooking. How many ever has a situation like that where you just don't feel like it, or you just depressed for a little bit of time, or you don't have enough uh, uh, space to cook a, a big meal. Maybe you got some company coming over, and you just want to throw something together, a prepared meal that everybody's gonna they're they're gonna be drooling, and the smell is gonna permeate and just fill up the house with all this goodness. But you just don't have that kind of time. So you just want a meal that you can throw together, or have something in the back of your pocket where you know that, hey, I, it, this works. I'm going to put it together, and it's going to be good. And people are going to think you spent a lot of time on it. But guess what? You can knock it out in less than 30 minutes. And I'm going to tell you exactly how to do that. This is a fix-it-and-forget-it version of baked ziti. What you need is you need to prepare this kit and kind of keep it in your house. There, and, and throughout all of our episodes, we're going to kind of talk about this a little bit so that you can keep various things in your house that you can throw together quick, fast, and in a hurry. Rotini noodles or baked ziti noodles or little twisty ones or macaroni, whatever kind of uh, pasta product that you want in your baked ziti or ziti noodles. You need to have two boxes of those. You need to go to Sam's Club and get you a number 10 can or your local food club, get you a number 10 can of pizza sauce. It's about three bucks. It's real cheap. And in this dish, you're going to fix it right in your crock pot. You're going to open up your crock pot, put it on the counter, put it on low. You're going to dump in your number 10 can. You're going to dump in uh, two cups of water into, your, into the sauce and mix it all up and get it all stirred in there. And then you want about a half a cup of sugar and put it right in the sauce. The sugar and the sweetness and all that mixes in together, cuts the acid in the sauce. It works out real well. In my sauce, I like to throw in a couple of bay leaves. I like to throw in some, some garlic. You should always have a cupboard full of spices. I keep a lot of spices on hand. Bay leaves, garlic powder, pepper, Italian uh, oregano or Italian seasonings. Just This is all to your taste. I throw it in there. I don't measure a thing. But about, well, you don't want to put a, a whole lot of red pepper in there. But if you like spicy, put in more red pepper. But I like crushed red pepper. I throw in some minced onions, oregano, sugar, all these things in the pot. In the pot they go in. And I set it on media, or I mean uh, low. If you're going to work, set it on low, put a little extra water in there. Instead of two cups of water, maybe put two and a half cups of water in there. And put it on low. Forget it. Walk away. Do what you got to do. Prepare yourself at the house. Or if you're at work, when you come home from work, it'll be done. Then, let me show you what it looks like. I already, I already prepared it this morning. So, when you're, when you're all done, this is what you got. Oh, also you want to put whatever meat you like in there. Whatever meat you like. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Bake ziti, the quick, fast, and in a hurry version. The fix it and forget it. Because you don't have a whole lot of time, and you just, you got all, too many other things going on, and you want this... You want to know in the back of your mind that you got this special meal that you everyone's going to think you prepared it and it took a long time, but you didn't. And then maybe serve it up with a little bit of uh, grated Parmesan cheese. And then also you want when you get home while this while you're preparing and your company's coming over or your family's preparing for the meal, maybe you could throw together a, a quick salad of some some uh, baby spinach or arugula with a little bit of lemon and olive oil dressing and a little bit of coarse pepper or fresh ground pepper and coarse salt and mix toss it all together and serve it all up on the on the table and everybody's gonna love it look at this fix it and forget it version of I don't have a whole lot of time baked ziti again every, you're gonna wanna have these uh, I call them emergency kits built in your home. You can store up a couple of boxes of this pasta noodles. And you can store up a couple of cans of this. It's only three bucks pizza sauce or your favorite sauce. You don't necessarily have to use pizza sauce. I do because there's a certain amount of flavors going on in there. 
Uh, you can use regular sauce or um, and it, uh, if you don't want to make it as big as this, you can use maybe a smaller jar of uh, whatever sauce is your, your favorite. Just keep them in the house and keep all your spices available. But I said put them in the pot. Throw your sauce in there. Put in your two cups of water. If you're going this big, you want two, two and a half cups of water. You want about the equal amount of sauce to water. So if you put in a jar of sauce, you want to fill that same jar up full of water and put it in the pot. So it, it works out well. And it'll cook the noodles and then nothing will burn and be too hard and thick and that kind of thing. So it's 50-50 ratio on the sauce to water. Okay? And then put in your box of pasta. As far as your meat and your vegetables, you can put those in there. I saved that to the last to talk about. I, this morning, chose to go ahead and cook up some brats and then chop them up and throw them in there. You can throw in a bag of frozen meatballs. You can throw in a uh, uh, hamburger or uh, meatballs that you've prepared and throw them right in there. You don't need to pre-cook them. Throw them in the pot. Everything will cook together. Fix it and forget it. Goodness in the pot. And let me tell you something, this, is unbelievably good. No one's ever going to know you just threw it in there and just fixed it quick, fast, and in a hurry. Alright, I think you have everything. Remember, visit our, our blog page, kitchenpossibleshow.blogspot.com. That's kitchenpossibleshow.blogspot.com. And that, I'll have all the recipes there. Anything we do would always be there for the recipe. Man, that's good. Everything we do will have the recipe right there backed up so that you too can prepare it yourself. And also be sure to visit uh, our, our Facebook page and like that or friend our Facebook page at Kitchen Possible and tweet us at uh, hashtag taste the love. And guess what? As always... Have a blessed and wonderful day. Enjoy your food and taste the love.